Good morning, guys. We're on our way to work at CJ Boat. It's gonna be this is gonna be my third day. So the first day we actually sold the boat when we weren't open. The second day we still weren't open, but today is opening day. Today is like officially, officially open. I said last time we were open. That's only because we sold something to uh, to Garrett. But we have, um, yeah, we we are ready to go. I think. Yeah, Ian Ian's following me, and he was like following me all the way from work. So that's kind of funny. I thought that was him in my rear view. There's the boat shop. If you guys haven't watched the first episode when we were on this dealership, this is CJ Boat. I am a sales representative here, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a salesman pretty much. And so this is our dealership, and then that was the boat maintenance. What? All right, there's Ian. What's going on? I, I'm, I saw you right behind you. I was right behind you. Did you see me? Well, uh, yeah, I saw you following me. I'm like, wait, that's probably the only Range Rover around here. And yeah, how's yep. it going, Ian? Good morning. Good. How's it going? You ready for the grand opening? Yeah, officially. I mean, we already sold a boat before the opening, so I, hopefully our numbers pick up. Um, yeah, it looks like Bolt's rolling with Garrett's new boat. Yep. So that was that was our first boat that we sold. And wasn't he supposed to be doing maintenance on it or just running through everything? Yeah, I think he was just going through checking it again. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any maintenance on a brand new boat, but he was yeah. just making sure everything was good and clean. All right, let's go get the doors opened up, and uh, I guess we'll go meet with CJ. For sure. I'm going to fire up the computers. You open up the doors. Okay. All right, guys. Here's our office. If you guys haven't seen this as well, I'm going to jump on. But CJ is the owner. Bolt is the mechanic. And Ian is the other sales rep. Ian and Bolt have channels. So I'm going to link them in the description below. They help out with all these videos and stuff. So make sure to go give them some love. Ian's pumping out a bunch of videos so if you guys enjoy farm similar videos check out ian's channel he would really appreciate it and i'll have that link below for you guys all right the stock market's doing good today that's all good how's it going it too so should be perfect, good perfect good morning cj good morning spencer you ready to sell some boats today? Yes, sir. Bolt, how are you, big cat? Good. Just what chatting that boat. They all good. Yeah, we saw so you pull it around as we we were getting parked. So if one of you guys want to call him and let him know. Yeah, for sure. I can. Uh, Ian can give him a call or something. Did we have coffee anywhere, by the way? Hey, did someone just uh, drive through our shop over there? Oh, I didn't. Did that? I think someone just drove around. I don't know. I saw some white truck just driving through here. Yeah. Oh, look, there they go. I think Checking they were just out. checking out the uh, the dealer. They're going pretty fast. Is this the tape we got going here? What is this? This is like the tape, I think. Uh, I don't know. Did I, I didn't build it. Bolt. I didn't. What are you going to do with these? I haven't been here. I've been for up our, there working on the for truck. Our open. I think our assistant did something. Yeah, oh, okay. the assistant must have. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, boys. Well, we should probably, uh, I don't know, get on social media. Tell them we're opening soon. Oh, yeah. I, no, I already got it all all posted up. I think we're good there. Um. But is today's plan, TJ, to try and get everybody their boats from Winter Store? Yeah, that's a plan. I think, well, any customers that come in, we need to help them out. Okay. And then all the boats that are parked on the dock or at the dock need yep. to be taken to places. Okay. And I think a couple of the big ones on the semi-trailers need to be delivered to people's houses on land. Maybe, maybe CJ, you sort those out and... We're, we should probably have some one one salesman on the floor at all times. For sure, and definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna take one of uh, my customer's boats to his house. He lives on the water, so I'm gonna go take that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna call Garrett. Let him know he can come pick up his his boat today. All right, guys, I just got off the phone with Garrett. He's going to come in actually later today. He, we weren't supposed to have it done. We were supposed to have it done tomorrow for him, and uh, we got it done early. So he wasn't expecting this, and so he'll come in later tonight. So, CJ, did you see that Red Sox game last night? Yeah, it, it, was, uh, it was a good game. Yeah, it went into extra innings and stuff. Man. Yeah, really good. Is that someone uh, pulling in a parking spot there? Is it? I thought that was Bolt's. Where? I thought Bolt drove a black truck. Look, oh, yeah. there's a white truck over there. Okay, I'm gonna let's let him walk over here. Well, don't get, don't get too riled up on our first official sale. Don't want to scare them off. I think your phone flashlight's still on in your pocket. Is it? It's shining through. There we go. There. You never want to drain your battery when you. I, I, I see it all the time. People have their phone flashlights on. It's funny. It's so easy to do, especially with the new phones. You know, you just sort of click the button and it just turns it on. It happens. Yeah, I know what you mean. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You guys open this morning? Yep. My name is right. uh, my name's Spencer. I'm a sales representative here, and then this is actually, this is CJ, our owner. Yep, nice to meet you guys. My name's Ryan. Ryan, nice to meet you. This is, uh, you're our first customer, man. You're our first official customer, Ryan. Yeah, that's cool. Thank What's you. Up, What's um, up, guys? Oh, this is Ian as well. He's our other sales yeah, rep. So. I just got back. I had to deliver a boat, but uh, is a new yeah. customer? Yes, this is Ryan. He's just looking around today. Cool, nice cool. Nice to meet you, Ian. Nice. Are you interested in buying a boat today? Uh, I'm looking at a bass boat. Me and, my, me and my kid likes to uh, go fishing every weekend. Our boat's just getting a little bit more older and older, kind of. We just need to find something new. 
Nice. Cool. cool. Where do you guys fish at? Uh, do you know where uh McGregor Iowa is, right? Yeah. You ever been yep. to McGregor? Yep, we Very live familiar. up there. So we, yep, we fish there. So oh. yeah. So Lake uh Lake Boone is it? Yep. Yep, that's what that's a, that's the lake. Yep, that's probably the that's just north of there. Okay, that's cool, man. Um, I don't think I've ever fished there, but yeah, it's not a huge lake, is it? I'm, no. Okay. I don't remember, but yeah. Well, so you ca catch a lot of bass or something, or yeah, we do catch quite a bit of bass up there. Yep. That's nice. good. That's good. Well, I'll show you kind of what we got. We have we have four different models on here. We have uh, this is our this is our bet in this is our on on the floor show. Showroom. This is our Ranger. It's got a Yamaha 350 in the back, so don't worry. You'll be able to scoot across the lake and get to your spots. Um, this is starting at, at 80, 58,000, excuse me. And uh, dual axle trailer, of course. Super nice. And yeah, you can see I have everything listed on the boat. So take your time. Look through everything. We have more in our back room. And yeah, just take your time, Ryan. Yeah, I'm looking. This is what kind of the boat we used to have, but uh, I was just getting more older. My boys also learned how to drive the boat he actually just got his permit recently so oh nice what year is the yep. boat uh i don't remember it's it's not like a it's not in the 2000s it's like a 90s area okay kinda. later 90s but, cool cool is it a ranger is it a? um i'm trying to think i don't remember the top of my head but i think it's a ranger i believe okay i believe cool. so yeah so. this is this is pretty affordable it's um for like a new bass boat i know 58,000 sounds like a lot but we have it listed at msrp at 66,000 so we we have it quite a bit down with everything going on so um take your time we're going to we're going to get out of your hair we got to uh do answer a few emails and calls so take your time around hey you want a coke i'm about to get one yeah if you could are they free or is cj charging us for the cokes he better not be i'm i'm going to take that out of his paycheck what do we got we got dr pepper bright water, diet coke coke right Fanta. Doll, dollar bills. Uh, he's charging us. Yeah. Why would he charge us? We literally work here. That's funny. God dang. Ah, uh, well. But yeah. I guess can... I'm not getting. Yeah, I'm not getting. I'm gonna go actually talk to him here once we're done. Uh. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um. What are we, are we gonna test drive this guy? Do you want to take him on a test drive? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna let him. I want him to just walk around and get familiar with like other boats and look at yeah. uh, look at our other models too. Did Garrett answer the phone or? Uh, yeah, he's heard... coming later this evening. Okay, cool. So he's coming in. He didn't know that we were going to have it ready today. So Nice, nice. All right, well, I, I guess you got this one. I'm going to go help Bolt in the yard over here. Okay, And uh, cool. Yeah. Go, all right, I'll catch up with you later. See ya. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Yep. Did you did you see the Skeeter in the Crestliner? In I the, did not in see the that. back room? Yep, it's right back here. Yeah, I didn't think I was welcome back there. It's in the back room here, so just go ahead. And uh, look at it. I'll be over here if you need anything. All right. Ryan, did you find anything you like? Yes, I did. I actually do like that uh, Yamaha 350 over there. That's probably the best bet we're going to go with. Yeah, no, that, that Ranger is clean. I love the trailer that comes with it. It's super... It, the trailer, if you saw, actually, it matches the interior, um, it, the the wood look. So it, it's pretty cool how the trailer and the boat match. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. Yep. So That's pretty cool. You didn't like the Skeeter or the Crestliner? They're a little bit more expensive. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna stick with the Yamaha. I think we're just gonna be doing bass fishing, but yeah, for I don't sure. Know yet. Here, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna pull a few things up on my computer. And okay. are you are you looking at financing? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, I looked at financing it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna have Ian actually come in, and he's already he he specializes in the finance. Um, and he'll go through all your options and everything, and give you your rate and kind of what you're looking at for payment. Okay. So I will, uh, I'll hand it off to Ian. If you need anything from me personally, just let me know. I'll be, uh, I got to run around the yard a bit, but all right, Ian, he's going with the, uh, he's going with the Ranger. All right. We'll get him financed here and, uh, maybe he'll take the boat home today. For sure. Yeah. Cool. It's all, it's ready to go. So if you, what truck did you drive by the way? I got that 1500 over that. I was actually going to ask how much that weighs. Do you know how much that, uh, but weighs? let me look real quick. Let me look. Hey, all Ryan, right. It's, I will... uh, it's eighteen fifty gross weight. Eighteen fifty. Yeah, I think we can 1800 do it. Pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You should be. Yeah, uh, should be just fine. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll... today's main job that we have on the dealership, besides obviously addressing any customers that are coming in, um, it is our first day of opening, and we try our best to get like our name out there and people to check it out. We actually had the first person to drive through is uh, I think somebody else is pulling in too. But um, our main thing is all these boats 
are going all these in the water are currently going to be going to to houses so we stored them in the winter time those who who didn't have their own self storage needed to get them out of the water so we plot we got them everything in the water and then we're going to take it to their boats give them uh obviously the keys and everything and we have everybody on appointment so let me read here which one does this go to i don't have them like all memorized and everything but this goes to all right it's on ridgewood so it's on the east part of the lake and then house number three cool cool it's an early morning this is uh nice to get out this has got a 350 yamaha on it there we go we're scooting across i do want to take it on a quick lap this morning with our winter storage we do uh we do do maintenance on everything we change the oil on all the engines and we uh we emptied out all the fuel so i want to make sure it's like properly running right we we winterized it and everything so i, I like i want to make sure the bass boat is make sure the engine's running good last thing i want to do is limp limp over to the dock and then then pull in a, a boat that can't even make it out of there there's some new development coming on the lake as well so that's gonna be really cool to see kind of what they uh a, a, a f i think three lots over there were sold and they were pretty big the biggest one was 25 acres so and i think it had four acres on the shore which is a lot all right this is the dock i pull up to it's that brown house this is the this is who own it i think it's actually a shared dock not 100 percent for sure what side it's supposed to go on go jump off get my dock line tied tied up and grab the other one all right we're tied up now i'm just gonna go knock on their door i was supposed to be here at 10 and it's actually 9 45 so it, it looks like they're up i'm gonna go ahead all i gotta do is give them the keys and pretty much i i think that's it there we go they got their boat it's as easy as that that's why it's nice on this like how we do it is we do full maintenance full winterize everything and so we make money on storing it we make money on doing services as well so it works out really really good for us and it's nice that i can just drive it over to the house how's everything going you guys get all all the paperwork done he's yep, gonna go are. test drive it right now oh cool i did the, i did go test drive it actually it's oh you did good. okay yeah i went yeah. and took another boat over to cross the lake i saw you there spencer oh yeah yeah i saw you drive by i was didn't that know you? that was yeah. you yeah yeah i saw you how was it yep. ryan it was pretty good uh i like it i think it'll be pretty good for the for you know the kid you, you open her wide up yeah i opened her right what up. what did you get it to uh, i think i got about to 50 probably 30 40 okay i'd say yeah that right yeah you're gonna be able to max it out it it, it hums right along at 65 so i don't know if you okay. gave it everything but you'll for sure have to test it out yeah but yeah i just need to back it up i just need to back the trailer up and uh load her up and that's about it so yeah, yeah, if you want, um, either I can back your truck up or you can drive the butt on, whatever you feel most comfortable with. I'll uh, I can back the I can back the truck. Okay, up you too, sure though. you don't want to do it for your first time? Get the hang of it. Uh, oh, yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, yeah. If I just want to make sure it. that like you're comfortable. Um, obviously we know you can back a truck up, but maybe get comfortable with. Yeah, doing I'll, that I'll, with I'll us try out backing up the boat. I'll try out putting the boat on the trailer. So cool. That's what I'll do. All right, can I have your keys in the truck or are they in it? Yep, here's your here's okay. the keys right here. Cool, so. thanks. I'll grab it, pull it around if you want to. Uh, Ian can kind of show you the ins and out of the boat. Okay, all right. And help you load it, so cool. All right. Yep, just come over here with me. Ian, did you tell him about that uh, special feature on there with the engine? How he can crawl in neutral? There you go, I got your line here. You can, here Spencer, you can back down the ramp, you're good. There you go. Coming in. All right. Ian, can did you, you tell me? did you tell him about uh, about that neutral? that false neutral that you can put it in and crawl uh on the trolley motor yeah, no on the oh it looks like he got it i'll tell him later okay all right yeah i'm just gonna hook up his chain there there we go all right you pulled out there we go this 1500s easily got the power ryan yep so i bought her yeah dang this is a good truck i'm a ford guy but i, I will admit i do like chevy's too yeah so, all right well i sent you your paperwork to the bank so i guess you go ahead and take it over to your right. uh, lake and that's it so thanks for uh buying a boat from us yep no problem that was uh nice coming here i heard that i heard some pretty good reviews here so i said yeah, right, i'll try it out yeah so uh if you want to buy another boat down the future you always come back all right yeah I feel all right it looks all good ryan uh, and i uh, i think you'll i think you won't have any problem with the truck we haven't had any problems with uh it was 1800 pounds and yeah cool beans man it was nice meeting you if yep. you have any any questions literally anything about controls something goes wrong whatever just call us all right yeah i'll we'll always be yeah, on the phone nice you guys. yep yeah thank you i was looking for a while and i just couldn't find enough places you know mcgregor so i looked in other places like here in winchester and all that and i saw this place and I'm like all right they just opened up you know yes and sir some people were saying good review and 
Thanks Game Strider out. You're the first one, man. Yeah. Here, was... CJ, can you take a picture with us? Oh, uh, yeah, for Here's sure. my phone. Ian, All right. here, maybe get the sun. The sun's that way. Ian. Get the sun? Where's the sun? Uh, sun's, the sun's uh, over there. This over way. The lake. There, there we go. Got right. a good picture. Thank you. Nice. All right. Here's your phone. Well, Ryan, you're gonna, right. you better send a picture of your first bass that you catch in that thing. All right, yes, I will. All right, Ryan, you have a good day, man. Yep, you too. What's up, CJ? Uh, do you have anything else you need to uh, do right now? If not, I have something you can do. Uh, no, I'm all yours. All right, if you want, you can hop in the uh, semi over there and take some of these big yachts over mm -hmm. to some people's houses. Okay. And you got the addresses? Uh, yep, I have them all on my phone here. I can send them to you. Okay, yeah, just text me. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna help CJ launch this huge military boat in the back here. Wait, CJ, where's, where's the semi? Uh, it should be up front. Check okay. the service shop, maybe. Bolt Unless Bolt take moved. It. I think Bolt took it. I'll find it. All right, you may have to go over to the uh, service area. All right. Yo, Spence. Yeah. One of our semis it's... broke oh. down. Hold on. Really? Yeah, it was trying. I was trying to push it up here, and it just like there was something wrong with it. Gosh. We have a second one, but this one broke down, huh? Do you tell yep. CJ? No, I was about to go down there. God dang, man. This is a nice semi. Do you know what's wrong with it? What you think's wrong with it? I haven't looked at it. Just okay. got the tools out. I'll take the other one. Yep. Uh, Yeah, call CJ. Let him know that uh, yeah, I... we got a problem. That's not good, guys. Our semi is uh, our semi is down. So, Bolt's going to get to work on that. He's, uh, I think he's heating. It's a little chilly this morning. I think he's got the shop heated. It, it's only like 60, but I'm, Bolt likes his uh, climate control. So yeah, like CJ says, my job e today is we have we have water, or we have boats that are on the water that are going to stay on the water, but then also we have ones that we kept in in dry storage, and now we're going to take out of dry storage and actually deliver it to people's houses, just because um, it comes with our package. We Of course, we like charge people more for all these services that we do, but we 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 find that it makes a lot more money. So yeah, I just talked to Bolt. Um, it doesn't seem too bad. He's trying to figure it out right now. I'm going to grab CJ's tremor and see if that thing pulls it. I don't know if it will, but we'll have to see. Which one am I taking, CJ? Uh, you can take the uh, red one over there. Okay, cool. All right, guys, we're going to try and get hooked up here the best I can. It's always tough. Here, I can look over my shoulder. There we go. All right, CJ got me hooked up back there, and I think we're good. All right, I got the address. He just texted me, and I will be on my way. These are uh, these are pretty big boats. The bad thing is when the wind catches them, man, it, it blows you around. The trailers are really nice and stuff, but obviously it's it's a tall boat, and I, sometimes we're like a kite. That's why it's nice pulling it with the semi truck. But he's gonna try the Ford Tremor. I think those have a uh, it's a diesel. I those have I think it's towing capacity of twenty eight thousand pounds. These are right about there. All right, we're on our way. We got to be a little careful. The semi is uh, can handle it just just fine. It's not it's not like do much weight for it. I'm not worried about that. It's just a long trailer and, and you just need to be careful. So I got a 25 minute drive. Um, it's kind of interesting. They're a bit they're a bit a ways away from the lake, but there's other lakes around here that obviously like people go to and I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what they use this for. Typically, we don't have these kind of boats on the lake. But a few, a few come on, but a lot of these guys take it to, like, the Great Lakes and a lot bigger areas up northeast of here. Like I said, some people, like, like to keep it home, like to keep it here because they come and they can check it out and stuff. Or the prior dealership, it was closer to a house that they could do maintenance on, come see it, come wax it, do whatever they wanted to do to their boat while it's in store. If you guys enjoy CJ Boats dealership and everything that we're doing on here, this is our second episode, so please let me know. If you like it, hit the like button. That helps out a bunch. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. We're on our way to 250,000 subscribers, which is pretty crazy. Because it, it does feel like I just hit 100K. What? Like a... Seems like I hit 100K like a year ago, but I think it's I think it's two years ago now. All right, I'm getting on the highway going here. But, yeah, please let me know if you guys enjoyed these videos. Lars, vehicle, trucks, use road, 24 hours. Well, that's me. There we go. So, I think I'm um, about 15 minutes away now, and I'll see you guys once we get a bit closer. What I'm technically pulling is a yacht. I mean, it, it looks like a yacht. It's a... Oh, I didn't even know that this one had it. Oh, this is nicer than most of them that come in. This has a... looks like a hot tub and a lounge area with the upstairs there. I guess, yeah, of course, the stairs go up there. So, that's really cool. I think that makes the boat a lot more expensive. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is a really nice boat. So, I'm about five minutes away from their house. And we'll be there shortly, but it's a right turn here. I like to swing extra ride. There we go. Jake brakes working good. 
Is there a train coming by? It sounds like that. There we go. See, the, just the trailer is very long, so you got to be careful. But I think the neighborhood is up here on the left through these trees. So it's kind of a... Uh, I don't think it's a... They're, they're kind of smaller acreages that are up through here. There's a lot, of, a lot of farmland around here. It's kind of interesting where the boat dealership is. It's not super populated and stuff, but people come out and see us because, like, the lake's a really big attraction. Here we are. Here's the housing development like I was talking about. It looks like it's that house right there, the second one from the corner. It's what my GPS shows, but it, I don't think it is. Maybe? Yeah, it's this one. All right, I'm thinking I could pull in there and whip it around, but I'm going to whip it around here. Just a little tight. All right, I got to be careful with the mailboxes. What I want to do is make it probably a three to four point turn. There we go. Swing it around. Let me straighten it out now and we'll get it back to inform. Not exactly sure where they want it. And it looks like they share that entrance here with these guys. Um, but I'll tuck it. Where I would put it is uh, right up on the grass. That way somebody could still pull in through the driveway at least close there we go i'm gonna tuck it right around here what they should do i'm sure they don't keep this here for long but if they do put some sort of pad on this side so here is the bow i'm sure they know i'm here i'm gonna go ahead and give them the keys all right those guys were super nice they actually uh they were making some cookies so i had one they gave me one uh but yeah there's the boat looks good they said I parked it exactly where where they do, so that was that was perfect. Nobody came out to tell me where to park it, which I thought was kind of weird. Usually people do, but I, I have a good eye on where I think somebody would park it at their house. I'm going to head back to the dealership, and I think those guys should probably... That was a really long drive. That actually turned out to be 45 minutes, um, so I'm going to have a really long drive back. But those guys only had a few more hours of work at the dealership for like delivering boats, so hopefully that's all done, and this is my last delivery. I haven't, uh, haven't talked to CJ yet, but he's in charge of all that. All right, there we go. I don't think we have, uh, Ian's doing some work, but we don't have, oh no, it's not all the way clear. We still have the police ones, a few, few boats left, but it's pretty much busy work for the rest of the day. And hopefully somebody comes in, but I don't know if they will. But if nobody comes in, this is going to wrap up today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed, we sold our first official boat. And we, we made a few deliveries, and those guys were doing a lot of work. We made a whole new entrance. So if you guys did enjoy, let me know by hitting the like button. Let me know what you guys want to see next on the dealership episode. What should we do next? And obviously, we got to keep selling boats and stuff. But we can always do cool stuff on the side. So I think we'll probably take out the boats this weekend. It sounds like Ian's taking one out. So maybe we could take him out all as in a group or something, meet him on the water. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button on your way out the door, and I'll see you in the next episode.